Hey guys, it's Fish Our Beast, and uh, I'm gonna give you a little update on my plant tank and the new fish I got. Okay, so I got some neons back there. I got ten of them, and there's the rest of them. They school pretty good. And uh, in Fish Tank uh, TV, I want to give some shout outs to some people I said I would. Tang and uh, GBR, I'm pretty sure. GPR, oh my god, I can't remember. It's mind blank. Whatever, I'll put their uh, channel descriptions in the, their channels in the description. So you guys can uh, check them out, they're pretty cool. And, um, alright, so you can see the growth up, or growth on uh, these uh, crypts. And uh, look at that uh, corkscrew valve, it's growing pretty good, there's some new growth down there. Yep. And, uh, let's see if you can see them, you can't really see them. But he was just, um, a pleco, the clown pleco was just out. Eating this little tablet right here, if you can see. But the fish always try snacking on it. And it just takes it. Um, I've basically seen new growth on everyone. Look at the growth on those. New growth on every plant in here. Except the swords. I can't really tell. I'm pretty sure they're growing. Like, this one seems to be getting taller. And these are kind of dying out. I'm not really... I don't really care, because I'm not really liking those. And, uh... And look at the new growth on the java fern. That new leaf right there. There's a tiny baby leaf. I don't know if you can see it on top of that little one right there. You can kind of see it on top. And then there's a new growth on that job fern. It kind of blends in with the sword. But you can kind of see it. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of really happy about the growth. And, uh, I want to talk about the dirt in the tank. Or dirting tanks in general. They're really messy. Like, as you can see right here, all the dirt that's on top. There's a dirt ball right there, and uh, there's all that mess back there, because that's why I replanted that. And you can kind of see that one that looks a little lopsided and looks weird. That's the cutoff from that one that when it fell off, and I'm just having to float around till it grows roots, and then I'll plant it back, and it'll grow like crazy. And uh, today I'm kind of talking quiet, if you've noticed, because my parents are around, and it feels awkward when I'm talking about my fish tank around them. Yeah, so it's a pretty good update. They they go pretty good with the fish or uh, the fish tank. They get scared when I come up to the f fish tank though, and uh, they freak out. The neons they freak out when I turn the light off though. It's kind of funny. Here, see if like, you can see when I turn the light off. You can kind of see them back there. They're all like, grouping together in the corner. That's what they usually do. Can't really see them. Let's turn it back. And it's time for the light to go off, anyways. I don't know if you can kind of see him. He's back there. And uh, I got a question about all you guys that have neons out there. Do your neons in the morning, are, are they really pale and they like sit on the bottom? Because this is what mine did this morning. They're, just, like, they're all sitting down the bottom, they're moving really slow, not like right now. They're like swimming in circles, like twitching. They're all doing that. I was thinking maybe they're just waking up because that's what it seemed like. I went to go do something because I was getting ready for school. And then I came back and they're all fine swimming around in the school. Or shoal. Or school, whatever. I was trying to say shoal. But, you know, okay. So answer that for me, guys. I just want to know. Because it like, look really weird. I thought they're all dying. Because they're all like super pale and like laying on the ground and stuff. Give you a few back here. Okay, thanks guys for watching. See ya.